So what we're going to do first is erase any lines that we don't need anymore so that we can create more of an accurate body shape and just make it really look like the figure. So I'm going to go in and use my eraser to just erase any lines that I don't need to draw the rest of this. So for now, I'm going to just erase those lines and I've er erased some lines a little lightly just I don't want to have that hard edge so I'm gonna go in and just draw in the neck and then kind of make the shoulder shape and just soften it out instead of just having all these circles and lines and then once I have it I can go ahead and erase this circle <laughs> making this like general shape for the hands because I don't want to go into the hands right now I just want to finish off the rest of the body first so now I'm going to go on to the other arm I got the general shape of this arm but we're going to move on to the rest of the body so here again I'm just looking at the shape of the arm and erasing the lines that I want to get rid of. So here you can see that I erased the boxes and now I'm just creating the hair just to get a sense of where to mark the shirt. And you can start to mark in the clothes just to get a sense of where they are. So now that I have gone in and really made the arms and the upper body and the legs and the feet more accurate to the shape, we can go in and keep erasing the lines and start to really mark in the clothes and where they all are placed. draw the clothes what you want to do is you want to use more of shadows versus lines so you want to keep shading in instead of using the tip of your pencil you just want to make all of the dark shapes into shadow shapes so here's as you can see from the arm it's creating this dark line against the arm so instead of just going straight with the tip you can go on the side and just shade that in so it looks more realistic and then especially for these type of shadows right here mar marking the clothes, you can also do shadow shapes for that. So now that I have a general um, placement of all the clothes and I just marked it, we can go ahead and sort of mark in the placement of the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So we can see here that this line 
connects all of the middle of the mouth, nose, and in between the eyebrows. So that's going to be the first line that we mark. And we're not trying to get the whole face today, just kind of mark where everything is. So I'm just going to get the angle of that. And the next line that we're going to do is going to be the eyebrow line. So now that we kind of have that marked, we can go ahead and really put in details for the clothes and all the shadows. So now I'm going to shade in the clothes to really make it look like the texture of it. So I'm just going for the simple detail because I just like to, but you're just mainly just focusing on the shadow shapes. So I'm just going to leave the detail for right there. So that's all the detail I'm going to go in for the clothing, but now the last thing, the last thing I'm going to do is just fix up the hair and just add on her hat. The thing with hair is that you always want to shade it in first and then after you do that, you want to go back and add pencil strokes just to add the texture of the hair. And now feel free to make any changes that you want.
Now that we have finished this figure, let's move on to the next one. First thing we have to do is erase any lines that we don't need anymore and start creating the more accurate body shape. So I'm first going to go in and just erase any lines. And now I'm going to go in and create the more accurate body shape. And I'm going to start drawing in the outlines of the clothes. So I just kind of marked in where the hair would be and we're going to move on from the upper body and the torso and move on to the legs. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all the harsh outlines and just make them softer. to the head and start drawing in the neck and making this line less harsh. So now I kind of realized that I need to bring her chest in a little more. So now that I've gotten the correct outline of her figure, I'm going to go in and put in the shadows and take out the harsh outline lines. So as you can see here, there's this white side on the, on the side of her arm. So you want to make sure that you make space for that. So I'm going to go in with an eraser and really make that obvious. So now I'm going to move on to the torso and just move on to our shorts and really get rid of the outlines here. So when you're blending like this, you first start off with the darkest part of the shadow and you really press with your pencil. And then as you move out of it, just really ease off of it. So you get that nice transition. 
So you can see how the shorts are way lighter than the shirt, so you really want to make that clear in your drawing. So I'm just going to go over and shade this darker than the shirt and then go over it with more shadows. So again, right here, there's this bright white part to her leg. So I'm going to go with my eraser and erase that in. And again, just erasing in the light part of her leg. And then for the feet, also I'm not going to go into much detail, just kind of have the general idea. And that's pretty much all we can see in this picture. So now I'm just going to go to the hair. Okay, and then now I'm just going to see where her, like the lines of her face. So you can see in between the eyebrows to the nose to the mouth goes down here. And her eyebrows are like that. So I'm just gonna mark that on here. Okay, so now you can go in and make any last minute changes you want. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.